is our magic mesh screen door we're going to be trying out. We'll let you know how it goes. This is the box that comes in. It says on the side of the box, align magnets, attach hook and loop strips, affix to door frame. So, it's got three packages, so I'm going to go through the instructions and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here I'm measuring the top of our doorway because you want to put a mark exactly in the middle because that's where you're going to start hanging the magic mesh. And there's actually, it's pretty easy to tell where the middle of your magic mesh is. Ours was 36 inches across, so 18 inches was exactly in the middle. Here I am uh, putting the adhesive strips on. Uh, I started out in the living room. It didn't work too well, so I moved it into the uh, kitchen. Obviously, so you can have a flat, solid surface to press down on the adhesive strips. One mistake I did make here when I was putting the uh, adhesive across the uh, top of the Magic Mesh. And uh, also, when you first lay it out, the top of the Magic Mesh uh, is pretty obvious in the directions. But the top of the Magic Mesh is going to be sewn together, whereas the bottom opens. And there's a bit bigger gap, I believe, at the between the magnets at the top than at the bottom. Anyways, the easiest way to tell is it's sewn together at the top of the magic mesh, which is where the long strip's gonna go all the way across. And one mistake I did make here, you'll see I was kind of pulling the magic mesh tight before I was pressing down on the adhesive strips, which it doesn't tell you in the instructions, but the whole concept of the magic mesh screen is that as you walk in and out, the magnets are going to pull it closed behind you. I don't remember it saying that in the instructions. So when you're actually putting this adhesive strip across the top here, you don't really want to pull the magic mesh, mesh tight. You don't really want any wrinkles, but if there are, it's not that big of a deal. But don't pull it tight. Just try to... You can try to flatten the magic mesh as you put the adhesives down. Just don't pull the magic mesh tight. You're going to want a little bit of play in it before you go to hang it. I'll show you later what I'm talking about, but anyways, as you can see, I'm trying to smooth it out, but you don't really have to do that. Just get the adhesive strip on there, level with the top of it, and just kind of press down on it for 30 seconds. You don't want to pull the backing off because you're actually going to need that, as you'll see later. And then the rest of it, you just try to space them a little bit apart according to the diagram and the instructions. Okay, here you can see I'm ready to hang it. I got all my adhesives on the back. Um, I did mess up a little bit here when I did hang it. That's the reason I make these videos, so you guys don't mess up like I did. Uh, like I said, the whole concept is that the magnets, magnets catch each other and close the screen as you walk in behind you. Uh, I started out with the... Uh, I was pulling it too tight across the top, but you don't want to pull it tight. You just want to kind of press it on there. You want a little bit of slack in the screen as a whole. You want the magnets to stay touching as you're putting this up. So I don't know if it shows it in this clip. But you don't want to pull it too tight. You want a bit, little bit of slack in your screen as a whole. You have to remember you get what you pay for. This is a fairly cheap product. It's not very expensive. I believe it was 20 bucks. But it does do its job, which is as a... I believe a temporary screen you can see there over my shoulder the magnets aren't actually touching each other what I had to do was I didn't want to bore you with the video but I ended up with two uh, the magic mesh was too tight across the top so the man magnets weren't touching I actually had to go back and pull it loose and just pinch it at the top there so the mag magnets were touching after that and I had to go back and reattach everything so you'll save yourself a lot of trouble if you just leave a lot of slack in the screen as you're going down the sides with those adhesives just make sure as you're going down the side that those magnets stay touching you want them to touch fairly easy so you do want a little bit of slack in the screen as a whole you don't want to pull it very tight 
like I said, uh, these magnets aren't very strong. You can see that there there's a gap in the screen. You don't want that. As you're going down, you want those magnets touching really, really easy. The easier, the better. The easier, they'll close. And I don't want to bore you, so you get the drift. So you got your whole Magic Mesh screen in. Um, they have some thumbtacks in there for added strength. It actually says in the instructions you're supposed to push them through right where the Velcro is. I did notice a problem with the bottom of the screen. It kind of wants to leave a gap there. So you're not supposed to put thumbtacks in the bottom of the screen. They mainly, mainly go through where the adhesives are. But I did put some about halfway in from the doorway. You just have to be aware not to like swing the whole magic mesh open but I think over time as long as it stays close you know it'll stay flat against the bottom I just didn't want the gap at the bottom so you can see me trying to figure out what to do but I did end up putting some some tacks in about halfway in from the edge of the doorway just to hold it there so you see me trying to move that one there anyways I don't want to bore you so like I said, as you're doing this, it might take a lot of adjustments depending on your doorway. You just want a little bit of slack in your screen to make sure those magnets close behind you. I can't reiterate that enough. You can see here I'm starting to put the tacks up the side. And like I said, that's just for added strength. One bonus of this thing is, even though it's a cheap product, um, it does work with uh, adhesive velcro strips and thumbtacks. So, I mean... If you mess something up or if you just want to keep it, if you actually do like it over time, you can even go to the store and buy some uh, similar tacks and adhesive Velcro strips. Probably save you some money. I don't know. We're, we just have a fixer upper home, so we're just kind of using it as a temporary product until we get around to putting a screen door in. Um, I don't know as far as using it as a permanent product. I guess you could, especially if you're in a place where it'd be kind of awkward to have a screen door for some reason. I don't know if you don't want a screen door that opens to the outside. But uh, anyways, you can see I'm putting the thumbtacks in all the way around. Obviously where the adhesive goes, I just stuck one at the top there off to the side until I was ready for it. But uh, anyways, you get the drift. I can say if you think you're going to be taking your magic mesh down and putting it back up quite a bit, I want to put the thumbtacks on the outside part because that's the part you're going to be actually pulling off the Velcro. If you are going to be taking your magic mesh down, it doesn't say <clears throat> anything about that in the instructions, but technically you could pull the, uh, just pull the uh, screen back a little bit to show the the inside velcro and you could put a thumbtack even if you have to go buy some thumbtacks you could put one on each end of the velcro to keep the velcro adhesive strip from coming loose from the doorway which would make it a lot stronger that way you could just um, pull the uh, the outside part off roll it up and put it in storage if you wanna if you think you're gonna keep 
taking it down and putting it back up. It's not exactly designed for that, but I mean, it's a $20 product, so you are gonna you can work with it a little bit. It, it's not perfect, but it definitely serves its purpose. My wife and I really like it so far, so it, it is what it is. It's convenient. It's really easy to put up. Um, that's why we make these videos. It does help a lot to know what to watch out for as you're putting it up. Like I said, I didn't know to watch out for not pulling it too tight when I was putting the adhesives on it. I didn't realize the magnets were going to close behind me, I, so I didn't realize you were going to need a lot of slack. So, yeah, just make sure you watch out for those as you're, you're putting it up. Those are the, the main two problems I ran into. Uh, I had to keep redoing it to make sure the magnets had enough slack to close behind me. It's a little bit trickier than it might seem, but it definitely helps to watch out for it ahead of time. You can see I'm starting to work my way around the doorway with the uh, thumbtacks. Again, it's just for added strength to keep the uh, screen from coming loose. Um, we live in Cheyenne, one of the windiest cities in the United States. I don't know why they call Chicago the Windy City. Maybe because Cheyenne's not big enough to be significant. You know, for a nickname like that, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Cheyenne is a windier city than Chicago, so I don't know if we're going to be able to leave ours up permanently. So we might even have to go back and put some thumbtacks on the adhesive strips on one side and just make it to where we can keep peeling it off. And, oh, here you can see I'm walking in and out to test it. And you can see the shadow of the tree blowing in the background, so it's not exactly wanting to close behind me because of the breeze. But if there's no breeze, it closes behind you pretty easy. But you might have to just swing it closed behind you like I am right there. I was just kind of helping it out a little bit. If you just swing it closed behind you, the magnets catch. And right there you can see they're closing behind you. 